Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel and welcome to the fourth video of how to work with your burst wizard. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a pretty cool feature that is more challenging, but that's definitely designed for more realism. I'm going to show you guys how to play around with the magazine count along with the magazine delay. The way this works is the burst wizard can sense how many times you pull the trigger to simulate a magazine capacity. And after so, you can also change the magazine delay to give you the simulated feel of reloading a magazine. So this is great because you can play with a normal high cap but get that great sense of realism. So what we're going to do in this video is change the magazine load to 10 rounds or 10 trigger pulls and then we're also going to set the delay to 4 seconds. So let's jump into the details. Alright guys, now remember when working with any airsoft gun and whenever you're going to pull the trigger to program the burst wizard, make sure the gun is 100% safe and clear, the gun is pointed in a safe direction, and everyone in the area is wearing iPro. Be safe guys. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is change the magazine delay and also the magazine capacity that is programmed into the burst wizard. So this one's going to be a little bit more tricky, so I'll try to walk you guys through it. As always, make sure you plug in the burst wizard to the gun first, and then we're going to enter that programming mode, which is activated in the first five seconds of plugging into the MOSFET uh, and the battery. So once we plug it in, we're going to pull the trigger nine times, which is going to enter into command module nine. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It should respond with nine blinks. After that, we're gonna activate it by pulling the trigger once, and it's going to respond with one blink. Now we're gonna do it four times, saying we want a four second magazine delay. Three, four, it should respond with four. Now we're in four second magazine delay. At this point, it's going to blink eight times, telling us we're going into the magazine capacity. Now we're in the tenths denominator for how much magazine capacity. We did it once because we only want ten. Now it's blinking seven times, saying that we're going to ask for the single denominator for the magazine. We want it at an even ten, so we're not going to pull the trigger, and we're going to let it confirm that it's going to be zero should go into straight 10 and then blink three times, like you saw there, confirming that the command was entered in. At that point, the red light's gonna go solid and we're good to go. All right guys, so now we have changed our burst wizard to have a 10 round magazine with a four second delay. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now on semi. So here's 10 rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now we have a four second delay, which is simulating the magazine. After that four second delay, which should be about now, we can then shoot again. So if you guys like this feature, feel free to keep it. Or if you wanna reset the MOSFET to its uh, default settings, click on the video link over here and we'll show you how to do that in another video. If not, click on this video link over here where we jump into even more features of the Burst Wizard. Restore, more features. Which one do you want to do?